What's up friends, this is Manny and welcome to the fight in Armored Core 6 that almost broke me. In my opinion, according to my first playthrough, the most difficult boss I encountered by far. And you're gonna see that struggle that I had in this video. The setup I have should, should be able to be, deal with her. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Uh, but I really have to learn that moveset and I have to find out where to put my hits in without taking her hits back, right? Um, and that is the enemy. It's uh, the Ibis series, uh, C Ibis 1 basically, the C weapon, um, CEL240, that uh, basically scouted our presence with one of her drones being down in that uh, lake of coral. Um, and then without delay, she comes down to fight and end us. And this thing. I had no idea what to expect from it. I saw it and I was like, mm, okay, cool, big next boss fight, let's have some fun. <laughs> I did not know what I was getting myself into, man. This thing is fast. It's firing at you all the time, it's dangerous. And yeah, although of course there's always this, uh, this way to do it quick and easy if you know and learn everything, uh, when you meet it the first time, chances are you're gonna get your ass handed to you. <laughs> and that's the same thing I have here. I have, as for the setup I'm using in this video, on the right hand I have the stronger linear rifle, uh, in the left hand the laser lance, with a big powerful forward thrust as you can see here, uh, doing a lot of impact damage, so staggering uh, that, uh, that boss too. Uh, and then on the shoulders I have the two um, drones that will follow uh, follow the boss and deal damage to her continuously for a while. Um, and uh, if, if they can hit, because if, if she's moving around too fast, they will miss. They won't make it. So I've, I'm, I'm beginning to understand uh, the moveset a little bit. I'm, I'm beginning to understand what should I dodge, what should I not bet, get hit by. And at this point I was like, <laughs> wow, that's easy. I got this one in the back. Look, she's almost dead. What could you do now to, you know, whoop me? It's uh, it's over. That fight is over. I still have two repair kits. I almost full. That is the what could happen. What could go wrong now, right? Uh, but I guess you should never go about <laughs> things that way. Now I get hit by these uh, massive coral um, attacks, and yeah, I, I I also used a repair kit, and before I can use the second one. I got absolutely demolished. Now that was only the first attempt, you can't really expect to beat a boss like this. And your first try, but I was confident because I looked like at the, at the HP of her and I was like, hmm, cool, almost got her. So let's, let's keep going, make it better and this time it's gonna be a win. Uh, and so yeah, I came around and did some good damage here with the laser lance again, um, extra extra hits in with the linear rifle. She flies around a lot up there, but I'm beginning to learn how to dodge her most powerful attacks. I uh, can get hit by some lighter ones. Uh, these ones I understand I first dodge sideways and then when she does them again, I jump over them. Thankfully I have the uh, reverse joint uh, chicken legs, so I can really jump high um, and that helps in dodging. A linear rifle charge shot is also extremely good at stunning uh, the boss, but it's hard to get that stun shot in because every time you fire a charge shot, you, she typically dodges that. Uh, and yo, I'm just taking a lot of damage right now. Seriously, I just got like almost my entire AC broken down in, in a few seconds there. Used two repair kits. Uh, still got hit by this thing even though I tried to dodge it, so that sucked. And now that I'm, well, mostly running out of repair kits, I got her almost stunned, so yeah, here we go. Okay, melee attack and that should be it. Boom! We're just like celebrating, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Got her! Man, I must be a good player if this was so so well done in the second try. I mean, I almost got it in the first try, right? Right? So nice. Next boss is crossed from the list, and let's wait. What's going on now? Oh! <laughs> oh, wait. That's not it. What's going on? Oh, she's back. Wonderful. That is wonderful. That's why it was so easy because it wasn't the only thing you need to fight with her. She just re basically comes back. Oh, it's great to see she comes back with 100% HP. But she's not so kind to give me all my repair kits back either, so it seems like you have to beat her twice in order to win this fight. And at this point I was also not sure, hey, how many times are they gonna do this? Maybe I have to beat her three times, maybe I have to beat her four times, I don't know. But one thing I know is I'm running out of repair kits, I have no more way to heal myself. And in this moment I realized this is not gonna be the one. This is not gonna be the one and I was dead. And this, at this point I was like, Shh, okay. Well, I took too much damage in that first attempt. I know, I know my problem, I know what went wrong. So I'm gonna try and make it better this time, all right? So let's go in with this, with the knowledge uh, of it being an improved uh, being an improved player. 
uh, and just trying to learn from mistakes. Okay, so my drones are coming in doing some damage. I'm gonna kick her face a little bit uh, and as soon as I can I will also uh, try to punch her again, but you know getting the punch in is not so easy There's not every opportunity you can use for it uh, because She's a lot. She's very mobile. Thankfully here with the linear rifle and my charged uh, No, and my drones. I got her stunned so I could put in a really nice charged laser lance um, And so she's almost gone and I have barely lost health. Well, not so much anyways one repair kit and a little extra health All right, so so th so far things looking good I'm ha I have a better feeling about this one, but it's difficult. Also, I, I, I feel like she is more aggressive in the second phase. Like when she comes back, I'm gonna address her as, uh, as she. Um, somehow that's what she is for me, I don't know. Um, yeah, so when she comes back, I feel like she's more aggressive. Uh, she has more area effect spells, she has more, or, or, or you know, uh, shots, uh, and she, in general she just uh, is firing more things at you. So that is really difficult, especially she, she, as she keeps her the same level of mobility all the time. And you cannot get some cheap hits in as she comes up, she will be immune to, that, to damage for this time. So you have to wait out the sequence in which uh, she resurrects and then you can start to deal damage. So far, I'm feeling good though. I got her well, or pretty good. I should have probably done this uh, armor, um, pulse armor a little earlier. While she was standing in front of me being staggered. That would have been the, the good time. And now she's just freaking hammering damage into me. Holy smokes. I already used, again, all my repair kits that I still had left in like, what? 10 seconds because she's just ha hammer so much damage into me and here I notice that I'm just lacking damage output I'm standing in front of her and I'm, I have her staggered but my uh, pulse my, my laser lance was used and uh, the only thing I can do at this point is like shoot with a um, la la um, linear rifle pop 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 but it's not gonna be enough damage <laughs> but now she after she kills me she still got staggered and heavily damaged by my drones all right so let's do it again and I learned here that I can open up with a massive attack. Take a look at this again, alright? Let's replay this. As she begins, she always rises and that's the moment where I can prepare the charged laser lance and hit her right in the face. Then with the combo of pulse armor, I can immediately take like half the HP of her. Uh, and that is a really good start without taking any damage. And that works every single time. Took me a while to figure this out, but I have this now. Uh, and this is... Uh, uh, well, let's say this is the final attempt. Um, and yeah, it, it took me a while. There, between these attempts were a few, but look how much more damage I'm doing to her now and how quickly I'm getting her down. Unfortunately, my, la uh, my linear rifle has to be reloaded now, so it takes a few more seconds before I can finish her off, but then it is reloaded and I can end the first phase. Now, I'm going into the second phase now with all, well, all repair kits and only a little bit of damage taken, so... The thing is though, now her mobility really kicked me uh, because I just couldn't place damage on her. I just, for an extremely long time, I was not able to do any meaningful amount of damage to her. So she was just dodging anything I did. Uh, any attempt of getting her with my close range melee attacks was it was in vain. Um, and also my, well, my linear rifle that can do a little bit of damage isn't really covering, covering her hit point bar there. So. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get in with the uh, with the pulse armor. I gotta get in with a melee weapon, and I, I have to just get her. But I couldn't look. Every kick, every melee attempt, everything I do goes into nowhere. She just dodges everything like a freaking boss that she also is. Uh, so yeah, I was kind of getting frustrated at this point because I looked at her health, and she was basically full. I already lost two repair kits, and she was basically still full. So she drained two times or two of my repair kits without taking any damage and that really 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 sucked because I thought that was going to be the one after this amazing start. Uh, thankfully though, I'm picking back up. Then I was beginning to play to score more hits and that was the moment when things changed. So I dodged through her, uh, my uh, linear rifle is reloaded uh, and I'm close to her and I'm beginning to get the stun in. So you see the yellow bar fills up, she's almost staggered and here comes the kick, nice. Charge attack and then the me uh, melee laser lance and that all together was more than 60% of her health. So that gave me confidence that I still have a chance, although when you look at it now, it looks like we're both similar, similarly down in health. Uh, but if I can score the hits before she can, then I'll get her. Come on, come on! 
just two or three more shots here. Drones, do your thing, please. No, the drones are always missing. And she keeps shooting. And there we go. Jeez. All right, so. However, what I didn't know is phase three comes along. No, 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 I'm jo joking. <laughs> Thankfully, there is no phase three. That would have really sucked, because now I had zero health, zero repair kits. There is no way I would have been able to have any more chance against any... Even if she just comes back with 20% HP, I would not be able to deal with it, I think. Unless I get an extremely lucky co uh, combo off. Now, very interesting um, is uh, what happens next. I, I will make this in a separate video, but so much ahead. Huh? Whoop! Okay, so some EMP stun thingy or whatever that uh, basically disabled us. But that's also something that I have to criticize a little bit because we knew that the Aqu Aquabus uh, faction or, or um, corporation was after us. They were following us. We knew this. So if we take out that Ibis weapon, someone else can just go and take the coral. You know, because we will have no more health, no more repair kits, no more resources to fight after such a battle. And somebody else can just come over. And that's V7 Snail in this case. Um, and yeah, he captured us. And that is really a little bit annoying in this case because I, I just ask myself, all right, if I hadn't fought the Ibis weapon, yeah, Ibis, wh wh what, would, would, what, what would they have done? They would have not been able to defeat her. No way. They would never have been able to defeat her. So they couldn't have gotten the coral. Now they gotten the coral and they take us out of the picture for the moment with cap capturing us. Now how this continues, we'll see in the next videos, my friends. So hopefully you're going to stay tuned for that one as well. Tell me what you think about my struggle here. Uh, is that relatable for you? Did you have similar problems or... Were you also surprised by the second phase? I went into this knowing nothing about the boss. What was your strategy? So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Manny signing off. Catch you in the next video.